Hey guys, Mr. Bruce here again. It's the last Peppa Pig book of the week, but not the last one in the storybook, so I'll have some next week. And today's book is called George's New Dinosaur. George gets to be the star in this story. But before we start, eyes watching, one, two, ears listening, voice is quiet, body calm. George's New Dinosaur. George's favorite toy, we all know, is Mr. Dinosaur. George likes bouncing Mr. Dinosaur in the garden, playing with him at bath times and cuddling with him whenever he goes to sleep. At bedtime, Peppa says, George, I think Mr. Dinosaur is broken. Oh, look, he's missing his tail. George is very upset. Mummy and Daddy Pig come in to see why he's crying. Poor George, says Daddy Pig. Maybe it's time to get you a new dinosaur. The next day, Peppa, George, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig visit Mr. Fox's shop. I'm sure we'll find a lovely dinosaur here for you, says Mommy Pig. Look, George, says Daddy Pig. There's a big one in the window. George says, you think he says, dinosaur, dinosaur, dinosaur. He has a very limited vocabulary at his age. Good morning, Mr. Fox says. Can I help you? Yes, we'd like to buy the dinosaur in the window, says Daddy Pig. Ah, Mr. Fox says, that's a good choice. The dino roar. He walks, he talks, he sings. George, of course, says, die so. We'll take it, says Daddy Pig. Shake it, don't break it. Wrap it, we'll take it. George is playing with Dinah Roar in the garden. Dinah Roar sings. Rhino Roar, Dinah Roar. Listen to Dinah Roar, 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 Roar. Careful, George, says Daddy Pig. Don't play too roughly, because Dinah Roar will break. George wants to play with Dinah Roar in the bath. Dinah Roar, says George. Mommy Pig says, George, if you get Dinah Roar wet, he'll stop working. You can't go in the bath with him. Peppa and George are asleep in bed, but suddenly Dinah Roar comes to life. Listen, Dinah Roar! Listen, Dinah Roar! George, George, says Peppa. Dinah Roar has woken me up. Hmm, Daddy Pig says. Maybe Dinah Roar should sleep somewhere else, taking Dinah Roar away from George. George does not look happy. That's an upside-down smile, isn't it? George is feeling sad. He can't play with Dinah Roar in the garden or the bath or even in bed. Don't worry, George, says Mummy Pig brightly. Dinah Roar can still roar. Dinah Roar! Roar, roar, roar! Roar, roar. Then he stops talking and he stops walking completely. He's frozen. I think the batteries must have run out, says Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are there, says Daddy Pig, as the batteries pour out of dinosaur. Oh, Peppa says, there's hundreds of batteries in there. Oh, that's way too many batteries. Suddenly, Peppa spots something green under a bush. What's this, said Peppa? Is that a trumpet? No, you found Mr. Dinosaur's tail, says Mummy Pig. Now Daddy Pig could fix him. Well, it might be a little bit difficult to fix, says Daddy Pig. I don't know if I can do it. But after whittling a bit, he makes the tail slip perfectly into place. Ho, 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 says Daddy Pig. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur, says Pig. You know what George says? I saw, I saw. George is so happy to have his favorite toy back. He smiles with an upside smile all night long. The end. Did you ever have a toy that you took everywhere? Sometimes it's a car or a little man or a doll. Sometimes it could be a blanket. Almost every kid does have something special just to him. And with George, it's his dinosaur. All right. Well, that's my last story for the week, but I'll be back next week as usual over the weekend. Wash your hands and please be good to your folks. Bye-bye.